Hey guys, it's August here, and welcome back to Let's Play Bastion. In the last episode, we went to Zendrigan and Fanishad there, but unfortunately the Uruk got it before we could and ran off with it. So today, we'll be going after them and seeing if we can find Zia. But before we get to that, my first weapon now. I've got no comments about my weapon, sadly, so I've decided that I will be using the Brush's Pike. And let's go with... Final warning, alright, cool. Wanna and by keep the way, the wilds at bay. Pack yourself a musket and a pike. I accidentally upgraded my um scrap musket as well. <laughs> I got penalty to long range damage, the other one is faster reload, and more damage, and the other one is greater knockback as well. This row is kind of like a copy of this row here as well. Alright, cool then. Zoltan's hollow is the Ura's border blockade. At least it used to be. Let's go. Well, now it's personal, ain't it? It's personal for him, and it's personal for me. They never saw him coming. Alright, say goodbye to the scrap musket and hello to the Calamity Cannon. He gets his hands on the care package I sent him. The Calamity Cannon is the final weapon in the game. And man, it is quite the weapon. Now first of all, the Calamity Cannon is similar to the Galleon Mortar. It's it a little something I've been fixing up in my spare time. It has great area effect, does tons of damage, but has a fairly long reload. Now on the plus sides, it can hit enemies over pits like this, but it can't go through walls like the uh, Galleon Mortar can. And overall, I'm not really a big fan of it just because by now all my weapons have already been upgraded a ton, while this has got no upgrades at all. And the upgrades for it are pretty expensive too. But from what I've read, it is a fairly good weapon, so if you take the time to upgrade it, it will become really good. Although, one more thing you can eat yourself by the area effect as well, like that, so yeah, watch out. The Ura found a way to keep the Calamity from spreading through Sultan's Hollow. They got their own security and everything. Pretty fancy, even. Still, they ain't used to having visitors around. They've got these conductors that are all what's keeping the place together. Break enough of those things and the Calamity rocks slink back into the ground. Those rocks are like tumors, the same kind the Ura planted in the Bastion. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about now. Trap a snare? I don't remember getting that. Uh... A sophisticated snaring kit that instantly springs open and mobilizes foes in the user's vicinity. Trappers relied on this for hunts that didn't go as planned. Alright, let's try it out then. They even sick their little rattletail pets on the kid. Those rodents are just a bump in the road. Now, every 
every aura from here to the terminals must know he's in town. Most of the Earth's conductors are squared away in the middle of the hollow. They're easy targets. Those calamity rocks must be eating that place apart from the inside. The Ura keep hanging on to their barricade. After all, their homeland's not much farther. Maybe they know they've lost this, lost to a kid. Some of them are downright bewildered by what's happening. They underestimated us. Had his peg gone wrong. Yes, our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. Shame the opportunity for civilized discourse is over. Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Maybe I should have trusted him, told him everything I knew. Zulf, the Hura, they have every reason to be angry. Beyond angry. And this is what I was looking for. Something wrong. An upgrade material for the Calamity Cannon. A flake of unusual rock unseen prior to the Calamity. It rises at the slightest touch, yet feels like bone, only heavier. But when this is all over, it'll all be water under the bridge. As the hour grows desperate, the Ura bring out their big guns. Too bad for them, our guns are bigger still. There's nothing standing in his way no more.
He sees the Tazzle terminals loom large on the horizon. A crude but half full illustration. It is inscribed in chalk on some stone surface. Unlike most of the Ur civilization, it survived the calamity more or less intact. Way out there on the edge of the world, that's where he finally finds you. But it ain't like Prosper Bluff this time. Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. No, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people. You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose, just to see if he'd go after you. They lost everything, didn't they? But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. I don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? Alright, so I was pretty quiet during that level, but that's one of my favorite. And part of the really Ripley is. walls floated by, so I caught the and kids look over at that this. Looks like we found another who knows where. Yeah, like I was saying, I really like that level. Especially because it gives you a lot of backstory into Rux and the Aura. And, you know, he's pretty much right. Like, both of us have been attacking the other side, while really all we want is to stop what's going on. So it's a pretty bad situation all in all. But, and you guys may not believe this. Once the kid gets that last shard from Zolf, it'll all be over. But the next level is the final level in the game, the Tazzle Terminals. But before we get to that, there are a few more things to do. Two more who knows where, and the remaining six proven grounds. But first, what can we upgrade on the Calamity Cannon? And as you can see, quite expensive. Rockets cause knockback. Or will not launch automatically. Uh, let's get this one. First step to learning the Calamity Cannon is knowing about the machinery overrides. Charge up speed? Or blast radius? Charge up speed? Now who would have taught a kid to do a thing like that? And damage? Or reload speed? Uh, let's get reload speed. Good thing I didn't throw away the manual. Alright, cool. And next time for the who knows where? We'll be using the Army Carbine and uh, I might decide this next time because I will either be using the War Machete or the Brush's Pike, but I'll check on my previous videos and see which one I've used less. Sometimes a Brush's Pike just ain't enough. That's what the Carbine's for. Alright guys, so thank you all for watching today and next time we'll be taking on the next Who Knows Where which is all about Zolf's past. I'll see you guys then.